Hey everybody, I have another thrift haul today. Today I'm going to be focusing mainly on men's jeans and shorts, but I will have a couple of women's bottoms thrown in here. I'm going to go through why I picked them up at the thrift store and what I think it'll sell for and a little bit of tips and tricks when picking up men's bottoms. So if you're new here, my name is Kaylee and I am a reseller. I usually go to thrift stores, pick up used clothing at a cheap cost, and then I flip it back online for profit on eBay and Poshmark. I usually list on both platforms and whichever platform sells the item first, that is the one it sells on. So I will be listing all of these items on eBay and Poshmark, and I think that all of these pieces that I picked up would do well on both platforms. So whether you're a seller on Poshmark or you're a seller on eBay, just know that all of these items should flip relatively quickly on those platforms. If you are new to the channel, you probably don't know that one of my main focuses when I go thrifting and determining which items I'm going to pick up is sell-through rate. I'm always checking sold comps, and if you're new to reselling and you don't know how to do that, I do have a video that I will link somewhere up here on the video screen that you can click on to when this video is over uh, to learn how to check sold comps. So I really focus on checking sold comps and basically a good sell through rate means that however many are listed is however many have sold in the last 90 days or more. And that just means that these items are constantly churning and if you pick them up and price them right, they are not going to sit and I am all about that business model. So majority of the items that I pick up, I pick up for uh, about $5 when it comes to bottoms. Usually $4.99 is my average buy cost on these. And I hope to flip them on average for $25 or higher. If I pay $5 and I sell for $25, assuming that my buyer is paying shipping, which they usually do, I can usually net about $15 from that transaction. And then of course, anything above $25, which I do have quite a few pieces that I'm hoping will sell for more than that, I would be netting more, but I think that that is a pretty decent profit. And some people might think that that is quite low, but if you're flipping stuff quickly, it's a no brainer to pick them up and get them moved out quickly and make 15 bucks. So I'm not going to tell you the individual prices that I paid for each of these items because I've already pulled tags off, photographed them, but just know that about $4.99 is how much I paid for each of these pieces. And you can assume that they all have a really great sell through rate unless I specify otherwise. I also charge my buyer shipping unless I specify otherwise and I do have a couple pieces that I plan on putting free shipping on which I will let you guys know about. Alright, let's get into this haul. So the first item is by Bonobos. Here is the tag. These are in men's size 33, 32. I used to pick up Bonobos a lot and they used to sell for a lot more. I think these are sold somewhere else now that doesn't have a super high profit, uh, but they still do well for me. I listed these for, I believe 25 to $30 and I'm hoping that they'll sell pretty quickly. Um, I've mentioned this before in other videos, but almost all of men's jeans, and actually, in fact, almost all of men's pants have a style name on the inside of the waistband or on the tag, which I use to look up sold comps and also determine what to price my items at. So same thing with dress pants. Most dress pants have it. These ones on Bonobos are called the Thursday pant, which, they have like a line for every day of the week, I believe. So you definitely want to make sure when you're doing comps that you are searching not just Bonobos men's dress pants, but that you're searching Bonobos men's Thursday dress pants and go from there. So I'm hoping to sell these for about $25 to $30. So we are in short season. So I'm always looking to pick up uh, men's shorts. I do this every year and I also pick up women's shorts. and. There are brands that I pick up every year that seem to have a following and that really never changes every year. And this is one of those brands. It is Tommy Bahama. You've probably heard of this brand. They sell kind of like vacation wear, islandy, relaxed style stuff. And men really like this, clothes that, this clothing for that reason. Um, this has no particular style name that I could find on the inside but they are made out of tinsel and cotton. So when I did comps, I looked up Tommy Bahama men's cargo shorts, and then I put tinsel at the end just to get a better idea of comps. Um, 
these are just a cargo shorts. They are kind of like a tan, almost green color. I'm probably still going to put tan. And they have wooden buttons, which I will more than likely put in my title. Um, and they also have, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they have a textured fabric. If you know what this is called on jeans or shorts, let me know. Um, to me, it looks like a waffle knit. If you've ever heard of waffle knits on shirts, like thermal shirts, this is what that reminds me of. I'm going to have to either put waffle knit shorts or like textured shorts in the title because I think people might be looking for this specific material. Um, these were doing really well. They had a great sell through rate and I believe I listed these for between $25 and $30. Another pair of men's shorts. These ones are by Eddie Bauer and these are a size 34. I believe that this is the newer Eddie Bauer tag. If you see this like really simple, I think that's a bird logo here. That's their new label. Um, and these are just a brown tan cargo short. Um, they've got Velcro pockets on the back. I'll make sure to put hook and loop in the title because you're not allowed to use Velcro in your titles. It is a Vero word and I have been dinged on that before. Such, such a hard one to remember. But um, I almost always look up hiking cargo shorts when I'm at the thrift store. Um, and Eddie Bauer seems to be a really good brand to pick up in men's cargo shorts. These ones are in excellent condition. I believe I listed these at $25. All right, next is a pair of men's jeans. These are by the brand Lucky Brand. Will you focus? You may not. The brand is called Lucky Brand. And inside the waistband is the style name. These are the 361 Vintage Straights. These are a size 38 by 32, which is a pretty good size. Um, these are in great condition. These are just a dark wash, straight jean. Um, it's got some fading detail and some whiskering here, so I'll make sure to put that in the title. It's a zip fly. Just a really clean, modern looking style. Um, I believe I have these listed at $29.99. And Lucky Brand's a really good brand, one of my bread and butters that I pick up in men's jeans. But again, I always do comps on the style name on the inside because not all styles in this brand flip really quickly or for very much. So that is a style that was flipping quickly and for a decent profit. Throwing in a woman's piece here. This is a denim skirt by Alfred Dunner which definitely isn't a brand that I recommend you go seek out, but I picked this up for several different reasons. Um, sometimes I'll pick things up because they have a lot of compensating factors or keywords that I know buyers are looking for. And if you put enough in the title and you market it well, enough people will see your item and they will buy it. So I picked up this piece because this is a vintage denim skirt. It's also a size 16. Yeah, 16, I thought it said 18 for a second. Size 18, which probably fits more like a 14, 16 if this is a true vintage sizing, it typically runs smaller. But this is a midi length skirt, which is uh, pretty popular right now. And then also really popular is the full button skirts. So I will make sure to put all of that in the title. These also have real pockets, which I made sure to show in the photos because as a woman almost all of our stuff has fake pockets and it really sucks so if you put pockets in your title and you show in the pictures that it's actually real pockets and not faux pockets you have a better chance of selling it these also have elastic in the waist so for all of those reasons i will put all of those keywords in my title and i hope to sell this for about 29.99 another word that i put in my title was modest and I think that will also help to sell the skirt. So just a couple of tips, denim vintage skirts do really well for me if they have all of those compensating factors. Next is a brand of men's jeans that I don't come across very often, fairly often, but not very often. But when I do come across it, I almost always pick them up. And the brand is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. 
You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not sure that this line of Ralph Lauren is sold anymore, which I think is why it's so popular. Um, these do have a great sell through rate on eBay and style name is on the inside. These are just a straight. These are a size 34 by 33 and they're just a, they kind of have an interesting wash on them, almost like a color blocking because it's more of a medium wash up top and then it turns into a faded light wash. It also has the whiskering, which I like, and then it's pretty light wash on the back. Um, when I am searching, I almost always look at the back patch in men's jeans to go through them really quickly. So I, these are really easy to spot. So you just wanna look for the flag with that stitching. And these ones in particular in this style, I can almost always sell for $35. If you go and look at comps, make sure that you're comping the straight. Um, they, they vary, but it's averaging around $35. Some go for a little bit more, but I'm gonna price mine at $34.99 with the buyer paying shipping. Another pair of men's shorts. These are by American Eagle. These are the classic length, so I made sure to do comps on this and put this in my title. Very, very important. These are a size, these are size 30. And this has that texture again, like I showed you on the those other shorts, where it reminds me of that waffle knit texture. So I really, if you know, please put it in the comments. I really need to look up what this is because I know that some people seek out this specific uh, fabric. So these look like they have some wear to them. They're a little bit worn in, but honestly, this style is meant to look a little grungy. Um, cargo shorts by American Eagle do really, really well for me every single year, and they don't seem to lose their value, even if they've got a little bit of fading or distressing. Sometimes I find that that actually helps sell them. So these ones usually sell for me between $25 and $30. I believe I have these ones listed at $24.99. Another pair of men's jeans. These are by Duluth. I'll show you the back leather patch here. It's spelled D-U-L-U-T-H, Duluth Trading. And then I've also got the tag on the inside. These are size 36 by 34. Now these are one of those rare cases where I do not see a style name on the inside of these jeans. Um, very rare for that to happen, but I will just describe it in my listing. These are somewhat of a straight leg, so I will just basically use that as the style name. And these have a little bit of interesting detail to them. They've got some leather patching here, and they've also on the back got like almost like a half carpenter pocket. I don't know what the specific style name is for this. I do know that Duluth, when I was looking them up, does have style names for their jeans, but for whatever reason, I don't see it in here and I don't see any numbers to look up. Um, nonetheless, I'll still list them, as I said, with basically just straight in the title. And these ones, I think I'm gonna list for $29.99. I saw things going anywhere from 25 to about 40. Um, Based on the similar styles that I saw, I'm going to list mine at $29.99, and these had a really, really good sell-through rate on eBay. So this is one of the ones I picked up that didn't necessarily have a fantastic sell-through rate, but I picked it up because it was unique and somewhat rare, and I've had experience selling this particular item before, so I will take chances if something is not a fantastic sell-through rate if it's rare and it could go for a lot and I'm willing to sit on it for a really big return, I will occasionally pick up rare items like this one. So I've sold stuff like this in the past by this brand. The brand is Guess, but this is a vintage Guess pair of men's jeans. Probably can tell from the tag. So what I look for with Guess and I also pick up the jackets if they've got this and the women's stuff, is if they have the signature vintage question mark somewhere on it, and it's usually in a triangle. 
really easy to spot a vintage pair of guest jeans. I picked these ones up for that reason because they were vintage and they have to have this on it or they're not worth quite a bit. So pick that up for that reason. It's also got a question mark on the side here. And these are just a men's like black gray straight leg jean. Um, another reason that I picked this up is because it's button fly, which can sometimes add value. So button fly is when there's not a zip here and instead it is button up. Some men are looking for that. I'll make sure to put that in my title, but I think that that adds value to these jeans, which allows me to ask more for them. So if you go look up the sulfur weight on this, it's not bad, but it's not like out of this world fantastic. It's just somewhere in the middle. But with the question mark logo that I mentioned before, these should sell pretty quickly. These also have somewhat of a grungy, almost acid wash to them, which I think will help to sell them because they're a little bit more unique. And then it's also got the leather patch in the back, which is in pretty decent condition. Um, I have these listed, I believe at $34.99. Um, I've sold similar ones in women's in the past for, I think, $50 and up, um, but they were tapered. Okay, these are another pair of men's jeans. These are by BKE, which is sold at Buckle. And I love BKE because the style name is always right there. These are the Carter style jeans, and these are a size 29R. If you're ever confused on BKE jeans, whether they are men's and women's, because BKE jeans are known for their uh, thick contrast stitching and then sometimes embellished pockets, and sometimes it kind of crosses the line, are they men's, are they women's, because of all the embellishments on them. If you're ever confused, I've noticed that all of these style names that are men's have a men's name, like Seth, Tyler, Carter. And then the women's ones have uh, women's names as a style name, like Brooke. I can't think of any others. There, there's multiple of the women's. I just don't pick them up as often because they don't have a, a fantastic sulfur rate. But the men's ones typically do. Of course, make sure you are searching the style name when you're doing your comps. Don't just search BK men's jeans, although chances are it's probably worth picking up. These are just a men's jean, very modern styling, and these have kind of the whisk whiskering along here and along the back of the leg. Really great condition. It does have a little bit of embroidery stitching detail in the back, but nothing super special. If it did have more than just this, I could probably ask more for them, but I believe I've got these listed for $34.99. One of the ways you can tell if a jean is worth picking up, if you don't want to go through every single item on the rack, which I don't recommend you do as you become more knowledgeable about jean brands is, you can do what I do, which is just look at the side of the jean. That way you don't have to touch every single one. And if I see this contrast stitching, I'll then pull it out, look at the brand tag and do comps. But this is a good indicator that it might be a brand, a modern brand worth picking up. Okay, these are a pair of women's jean shorts. These are just by Levi's, size eight, pretty good size. Um, I pick these up like basically every time I see them, whether they're modern or vintage, um, whether they're distressed or not. A lot of people are looking for this kind of high rise where it um, kind of cinches at the waist a little bit. And then some people like to distress them in this case, I think this is a modern enough style that if somebody did want to DIY it, they could just buy it like this and DIY it themselves. I've noticed some people are looking for that, but there are some people who are just looking for the more modest approach. So these ones I'm not really touching and distressing, although some of them I would. I always check to make sure that the back patch is intact and that the red tab is in pretty decent condition. So. These ones I can usually flip for about $24.99. Um, sometimes I'll add free shipping if they are a less desirable style. In this case, I think this is spot on with what people are looking for. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and charge shipping. So $24.99 plus the buyer paying shipping. And these should go first class because they don't weigh more than a pound. 
These are a pair of women's jeans. These are by Ariat, and they are the style Ruby. And these are a size 29 short. Now Ariat, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, is a brand that I'm familiar with with their shoe line. So they sell a lot of uh, leather boots, Western boots, which do really well if you come across them. But I figured since I come across the jeans and the shoes do well, that the jeans might do well also. So I did comps on not just Aria jeans, but Aria Ruby jeans. And the sell-through rate was really good on these. These are just a boot cut women's medium to dark wash jean. And then one of the main reasons I picked this up in addition to its style is the flat pocket on the back. So a flat pocket is when a flap comes over and they're not just open, which kind of like button fly can add value to both men's and women's jeans. So I will make sure to put flat pocket in my title and I'll also probably put contrast stitching in the title. And it does have a little bit of embellishment throughout with that like faux diamond throughout the different pieces on the jeans. These are in really excellent condition. I believe I have these listed for $30. Another pair of women's jeans. These are Miss Me. I have a feeling everybody's probably heard of Miss Me. It's not something I pick up every time I come across it. They used to sell for a ton more, but uh, since then I think the value has gone down. Uh, the thrift stores don't seem to know that because they're still marking these way, way up. Sometimes I'll come across these at the thrift store and they have them uh, marked for like 30 bucks, uh, which is probably what you could get them for on eBay or Poshmark pre-owned. So the reason I picked these ones up was because the color tag was at a discount. So I got these at a reduced rate. And these are the Signature Skinny, which is a really popular style in this brand right now. I did comps on this style and I can't stress that enough. Make sure when you're doing comps that you are checking the sell-through rate and the prices of this particular style. Don't just look up Miss Me Jeans because you'll be led astray. These are a size 27 and skinny jeans in particular are still obviously really in right now and I picked these ones up for their style and also they had enough interesting detail on the back pockets that I went ahead and picked these up. Miss Me's a lot of people buy them for the embellished nature of them. Um, this has a pretty embellished back patch too. It's got some distressing on the pockets and I liked the different colored embroidery on the back. With jeans like this and some of the other jeans that I've mentioned, oftentimes I will either make my cover photo the back of the jean instead of the front, or I'll do a collage and I will do the front of the jean with a close up of the back pocket because this is usually what sells jeans like this. So just a little tip for you. These ones I think I have listed at $34.99. We are nearing the end, I've got three more. Um, these are a pair of women's jeans by Rock Revival. If you come across Rock Revival in men's or women's jeans, they're more than likely a good pickup, but again, do your research. These retail for quite a bit, um, which is why they have such good resale value. These ones are called the Irene Easy Boot and they're in a size 25. Really excellent condition, kind of along the same lines of the Miss Me's. These jeans, are usually sought after by people who want that embellished look. You can see that these have the obvious contrast stitching, which is why I mentioned before, if you're going through jeans in both men's and women's and you wanna pick up some modern styles, look out for this. Um, got the faux diamonds everywhere. And then the backs are quite embellished as well. It's really hard to miss these because they are so embellished. These ones are actually less embellished than most of the ones that I come across. Um, I can't remember what I have these ones listed for. I think $39.99 and this particular style, the Irene Easy Boot, has a really good sell through rate. All right, and last two pairs are actually the same exact jean, just in a different wash. 
So I've got both of these here. This one is just a light wash. This one is still kind of a light wash, but moving into the medium wash range. They've all got fading and some whisk whiskering. These are by the brand American Eagle. I love picking up men's American Eagle jeans. Now, again, you want to look up the style name because not all of them do well. These are the Relax Straight, which have a really good sell-through rate. And both of these are a size 34 by 30. And yeah, they're just your men's basic jean. I basically make sure on light wash jeans that there aren't any staining because staining usually happens around the knee of the jeans. So something you want to look out for. And then I always make sure that the back patch is intact. Both of these jeans I will sell for $24.99 with the buyer paying shipping. All right, I lied. I have one more. <laughs> I forgot I had these. These are a pair of my old jeans. Um, these are the Old Navy Women's Rockstar jeans. And these are like so easy to come across. Now the trick is they only sell between $15 and $20 usually. And a lot of the times I'm also seeing people with free shipping within that price range. They are light enough that they go first class, so they should cost about four to five bucks to ship. So if you list them for $19.99 with free shipping, which is probably what I'm going to do with these jeans, they have an outstanding sell-through rate. Look them up on eBay. These are one of those styles that you're not going to make a lot of money on, but if you can come across them at the bins or at a yard sale for a buck or two, they're just such quick, quick flips because this is a really really popular style of jeans by Old Navy. These ones are a mid-rise. They are like a true blue light wash and then they have the undone hem which is why I'm listing mine for $19.99 because they have a little bit more detail than some of the other ones. These ones are in really great condition. I hardly wore them. Um, super comfy, super stretchy which is why people like them. But yeah, if you come across Old Navy Rockstar jeans, they flip really, really, really quickly. Check the sell through rate on eBay to uh, look at the details there, but if you come across them for a dollar or two, they're really easy to come across. Definitely worth picking up, especially as a beginner. All right, guys, so that is it for today's haul video. Those are just a bunch of bottoms that I recently picked up and some of my most recent thrift hauls that I didn't get the chance to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you learned a little bit about different denim and shorts that you can pick up at your thrift store. I try to keep it pretty simple. I try to pick brands that you would come across pretty often and then throw in a couple that you may or may not come across a lot. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if any of those brands are some that you come across often or if you don't. I'd love to know and hear your feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.